Guys, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit scared about this package. It comes with a warning. So, yeah, we have another box, and this one is different. Let's put it that way. Should we see what's inside first? I have opened it to check what's in here. Didn't get rid of the packing peanuts so. though. So, I got this uh, from a guy on Facebook. And what I have in here is, there's a label on there, I'll read it out to you. Three, Heteropoda Javana. Javana? Javana? J J J Javana? Anyway, they're three huntsmen. Four, I don't know how you pronounce that, Sten Stenday, species Cameroon Burgundy. Those are a wandering spider. And three, Dolomedes Fishing spiders. Do you know what? This, this is cool because I've got here Heteropoda Javana, fast, keep dry, mist twice a week, eats anything it can tackle. Sounds good. Satenus. Satenus? Is that how you pronounce it? Satenus. Someone's got to like, write in the comments how you pronounce it phonetically or something. Satenus species. Species Cameroon, Cam Ugh, I cannot talk today. Cameroon Burgundy, a small wandering spider, gets about 1.5 inch, practically bulletproof, keep moist, not soaking, will eat anything same size or smaller. And then the uh, the three fishing spiders, which do have a label on, but I can't read it. So that's all that's in there. So in there we've got ten spiders. In this one, this was a uh, a little extra. A Heteropoda venatoria. Venatoria? Uh, it threw this one because it's, it's a male. It's easy to put. It probably won't last much longer. Still a good feeder, very, very fast. You can see that one here. This is a Huntsman. There we go. Huntsman there. You can see the, the note there with all the details on. And finally, the one. Let me read, let me read this out to you. and see if you can guess what it is from the description. This spider will bite very fast and aggressive. Pilocktinus, Pilo yeah, Pilocktinus hemostoma. That is a red fang wandering spider. This one scares me. Actually the huntsman scares me, but this one scares me, scares me. So, obviously I can't show you what's in there. There's the note. I can't show you what's in there because it's not. I, I can see it down there, and it looks like it's it's a decent size. It's not massive. It's not tiny. It's a good size. Uh, but I'm gonna have to get it into something. Let's do it. Okay, guys. So we're gonna start with all the smaller ones. Uh, these are the fishing spiders. These are the huntsmen's. And these are the wandering spiders. So let's begin. Let's open one of these and see what size they look like. Yeah, these guys are small, small. See if you can see it in there. So these guys are tiny. In fact, they're so tiny they might actually need to go all into sling pots. Okay, guys, I got the first one off camera just because it was so fiddly. Um, I can't even see it in there now. Sat right in the middle of this sling pot. You can see it moving around there for camera focus. It's like right in the middle of the pot. They are tiny, but I'm gonna get these done off camera, I think, because it's so fiddly. Uh, I'll show you the Heteroprodus and I'll show you the Dolomedes when I've done these four wanderers. There's the four wandering spiders done, guys. Uh, I apologize for not filming this but they were a bit of a pain to get in. You can see that one there. There it is. Tiny little sling. But yeah, they were a little bit of a pain to get in, so I didn't really want to film the whole lot. Okay, let's get a look at this Huntsman. These are probably going to be tiny too. Yep, they are tiny. But they are quick, oh my word. If you can see that down there. Let's 
There it is, guys. Tiny Tim. And watch it go. No, he's off. Whoa! That was quick. Did a lap of the enclosure and back in. If you're watching this, you can see him going round and round at the top. It's hilarious. There you go. He's in. Sorted. Again, I'll do the rest off camera and then show you the fishing spider. Okay, so the fishing spider, the uh, Dolomedes Oka Flocka Locka Locka Locka. Oh, I can't say that. I'll put the name on the screen anyway. I will do for all these. Oh, okay. You're a decent size. Let's see it there? Oh wow! You are fast. Oh my word. Um, I'm thinking too big for that. But for now, <clears throat> for the purpose of this video... There it is guys. One of the fishing spiders. Okay guys, as you can see here, I've rehoused them all now. I've put the notes in front of each one as little care sheets. But now, onto the main events. Okay guys, before I go any further, we're gonna do the Huntsman first and then the Red Fang. But I have to put out there now that they are going into temporary enclosures. I need to go and get some new enclosures. I've been needing new enclosures for about a week and I haven't got any. This is gonna be for the Huntsman. A brow plus tub up on end and the red fang is going in the same tub not the same tub but the same style of tub but terrestrial style for now so even though i know the the red fang is semi arboreal they will get their proper enclosures i promise you so here's a huntsman enclosure absolute basic this is only being filmed the day after i filmed the video that you watched last time so i haven't had chance to go out and get anything so let's get this huntsman into this enclosure. So I've been told he's like lightning and that scares me a little bit. Oh. Well, I want you open to the catch cup, please, my friend. There we go. As you can see, he's, he's a good size on here I'll show you that he's a good size like I say unfortunately he's an old male so he was just given to me as a freebie and being as I've never really cared for huntsmen it's it's kind of all new to me so this is all gonna go horribly wrong I'm imagining I hate these tubs I really hate them I've only got them because I buy spiders that are in them oh down you go mate You're on there, don't want to trap your legs. That's the biggest issue I've got. Tarantulas are so much easier. Oh, that was close. Come on, get your leg back in. Oh, his leg's not trapped. Sweet. Oh my god. Oh my god. Woo! There we go, guys. It's in. It's big. Oh my word. Oh, and that was only the Huntsman. I haven't even got to the Red Fang yet. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, guys. Time for the Red Fang. This again is a temporary enclosure. Let's do this. 
let's do this right. Catch cup, absolutely need my catch cup. That's here. I've got a brush, I've got tweezers. I think I've got everything I need. Let's lift this lid off. Oh, it's gorgeous. Can you guys see it down there? Right. To catch cover over the top, this is going to be my tactic. Brush down in here. Let's see its temperament. Okay, okay, not too bad. Not too, oh my word, it is beautiful. Whoa, okay. Okay. Oh, it's decent size as well. Oh my God. Okay. My God, guys, look at that. Hold on, let me get that face. Oh, look at that. It just looks angry. It's just angry, it's an angry spider. This is a female, by the way, guys. And she will get, oh, she's down, sweet. There she is. There she is. I don't wanna get too close to it. But check that out, guys. Just looks angry all the time. Right, let's get the lid on before it makes a break for it. I mean, those fangs. When they say they're a red fang, they mean they are a red fang. You can't really see her, and I apologise, but. There is no way I'm getting closer. Not with the lid off anyway. Not until she's in a proper enclosure. She's having a wonder. She's living up to her name. We did it. We did it. Everything was rehoused. Nothing escaped. I didn't get bitten. I didn't die. We're good. We are good. To recap, once again, temporary enclosure for the Huntsman. Oh, you can't see it, but she's right down the bottom there. Temporary enclosure for the Red Fang. Also a temporary enclosure for the Haiti Haiti. Just throwing that one out there. Hopefully, these will, well, especially these guys here, these are all the slings that I got. I don't tend to have particularly good luck with slings. In fact, saying that I don't have much luck with slings, I've just discovered that my uh, H. Pork piece sling has two passed away. I don't know if you can really see it in there. But I don't know what it is with me and slings. I just, I don't really get on with them. It's it's a love-hate relationship. I love them, they hate me. They hate living for me. Anyway, I think we'll leave this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please click like down below. Let's give it a thumbs up. If you want more of these, click subscribe. Click the bell notification next to it so you get notified when I upload a new video. There is a link down in the description to Support the channel if you wish. Any support I get goes towards all this upkeep. And also, while I'm out there, plug in, plug in. See this top, Seven Cents Paranormal. This is part of the, if, if you're into like paranormal stuff, this is part of the paranormal crew that I'm with. And we do like paranormal investigations around the Midlands, other places. Look us up online. There's some really interesting photos and stuff on the website. So yeah, <laughs> we'll leave that here. I've also got a cool collection of pop figures going on up here but I think I might get more. In fact, there's some more in the house that I need to bring down. Anyway, enough rambling from me. Let's leave that here. I will give you updates on all these guys as they grow, as they molt, as they get bigger, as they kill me. All the cool stuff. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting. I love reading all the comments down below. So leave me a comment, you know, what do you think of the Red Fang? What do you think of the slings I've got? What do you think of anything else I've got? What do you think of my pop figures? Yeah. I'm going to say thanks again. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.